<laughs> Damn it! Are you kidding me? The Phillies blow a game in the ninth inning. Hector Neris with another blown save. I literally just praised the man. I said, baseball, uh, saving and saves in baseball is like fishing. Sometimes you pull the hook. Sometimes you blow the saves. But today was just a different story. I'm sorry, it just was. Before we begin, hit that thumbs up button, subscribe, and comment down below with your thoughts and opinions on this one. We start a series with the Mets. This is just frustrating because in the first inning, Odubel Herrera, he now reaches base 40 times consecutively. That's amazing. In, in 40 consecutive games. Absolutely amazing. He does that with a home run to give us a one to nothing lead. We had an opportunity in the fifth inning. We had bases juice. Carlos Santana up. Just couldn't find a way and we grounded out. And at this point, I'm like, this is going to come back to bite us. We need more runs. This one run game is going to, to not be enough. We need a little bit more. I just feel it. I felt it. Arietta had a fantastic day on the mound as he's, he goes seven and one third, allows five hits, five strikeouts, and two walks and 101 pitches. Great day at the office. Tommy Hunter comes in. We see a little bit of him. He goes two thirds. He allows one hit. I want Tommy Hunter to have an opportunity at this point for the save because Hector Neris comes in. He allows three hits, three earned runs. Conforto hits a two run shot. And then literally back to back, the Mets hit another home run. So we're, we're down three to one in the top of the ninth. And what pisses me off is he literally took Conforto through a pitch, literally dead center of the plate, and he ropes it foul. It went far, and the commentators were laughing like, oh, it's just a strike. A long strike, but it's just a strike. He then throws the same exact pitch on the next throw, and that's exactly what went yard. Why? I backed you up. I backed you up. Like, there's a difference between just, like, blowing a save, but then there's just throwing stupidity pitches out there, and that's what you're doing. He just doesn't have enough, it seems. It doesn't have enough. My cousin texted me and said, oh, hold your breath. Hector's going out there. I literally said, I trust him. I believe in him. What was I thinking? I mean, he, he literally cost us the game today, and this one stings. This one stings. Now we're 22 and 16, and we should have won this baseball game. No doubt about it, we should have won this baseball game, and it's frustrating. It's frustrating. What are we going to do? Are we not going to have a set closer, and we just try some options out? I heard Dominguez. I don't think he's ready yet for that situation. I would rather see Tommy Hunter. I would. I would rather see Tommy Hunter. Let, let's look at some stats. Odubel goes two for three and a walk on base three times today. Fantastic. He gets an RBI and a run. Scored Cesar Hernandez, one for five. Scott Kingery, two for four. And that's pretty much where we were with the bats. We did have seven hits on the day. This one just stings a little more. I mean, this one just, this one stings. To the Mets, too. Oh, Man, for real? And you know they travel well. They come to our stadium. You got to hear them cheering in our barn after a W. One thing, I mean, it doesn't make it better at all. But the Marlins beat the Braves today. And we were only a half game back. What sucks is you can look at it and say, you know, at least they didn't win. But with a W that we should have had, we could have been first place in the NL East. And how many games are the Braves going to lose to the Marlins? Oh, it's just frustrating. The Mets. We lose in the Mets. And on top of this, we have their two top pitchers coming in for us. Syndergaard tomorrow night against Eflin. And then who is on the... It's it's Nola and DeGrom coming back from injury on the second... On, well, the third game of the series. So, I mean, that was our easiest matchup. Especially with Arietta dominated the way that he did. I mean, he pitched so well. And to not get a win for this, that's why the wins and losses for pitchers is just such a flawed stat. It's very fraud. Flawed. What? I don't know. I don't know. I'm just emotional roller coaster right now. I'm all over my words. It, it just stings to the Mets on a blown save like that. I knew it. I knew it in the fifth inning. I really did. I said to myself, that inning right there, 
not getting any runs. It's going to come back to bite us. I just had that feeling. So, hey, we move on to the next one here. We, we need a W. We need a W tomorrow. Eflin versus Syndergaard. Let's see if we can do it. So with that being said, hit the thumbs up button, subscribe, and comment down below with who you think should be our closer because this one hurts. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.